In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two types of jumps in Scratch. One is an easy jump with less maths, and one is a harder with more maths, but it has a nicer and smoother appearance. You choose which one you want to use. Uh, first of all, I'm going to make the basic jump. Now, I'm going to do something that maybe you haven't seen before. I'm going to make a sprite that is the ground. It makes a couple of things easier in this, in this algorithm. So uh, let me make the, a big fat platform and I'm going to turn that into the ground. Uh, it also allows you to use the same um, code and use uh, it for jumping against the ground and also for jumping against platforms. So um, make this the ground. Okay, and now we want the ground to be at the bottom. You can put it quite far off screen. Okay, so now all the code goes on the cat, and this is the basic one. So we're going to make a, uh, make the cat move left and right just to start. So when right arrow is clicked, we're going to move 10 steps. Uh, actually, sorry, we should change x by 10 steps. Change x by 10, uh, and when the we're going to duplicate that and have that be the left arrow and change x by minus 10. And so now you'll see that when I use the left and the right arrow, the cat moves backwards and forwards. And now we just want to make the jump happen. So I'm going to use the, the up arrow. You can use this, the space. The space is a very common use of uh, for a jump. Uh, up to you. Okay, and so I'm going to repeat uh, a bunch of times, moving up. Uh, now you can repeat as many times as you like uh, to get the height that you want. Uh, I think that the height that I want is going to be about a hundred um, cat steps high or pixels. I'm not sure if they're pixels. Um, and so I'm going to repeat 20 times, move five steps in the y direction. Uh, change y by five. Uh, you can muck around with these numbers. Um, the, the smaller you make the y change, the slower it will go. And the larger, the faster it will go, but also um, the, I guess, the jumpier it will be. Okay, so now this is where the, the only tricky bit comes in, and that is that we're going to, rather than just repeat and come down again, we want to repeat and come down until we hit the ground. So that's in control. We're looking for repeat until. And then we're going to use sensing, touching, and use ground. And now I'm going to change uh, by y by minus 5. Did you notice my cat just flew off the screen? OK. And so he's sitting on the ground. Uh, now when I press the up arrow, he goes up and down. You'll see that he goes up and down linearly. So there's not a nice parabola like you might see in some, uh, in some games. And that's what we're going to fix and then we're going to fix that in the more difficult one. I'm just going to show how to add a platform because it's not very difficult. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate the ground and call it platform and make it smaller. Okay, so now we have a platform and we want the cat to be able to jump onto the platform. So let's go back to the cat. Now here we want it to repeat until jump, uh, touching ground but or also until it's touching a platform. So we're going to use an OR which is in the operator section uh, and I'm blind. Oh it's right there. Okay so OR so we go touching ground duplicate that OR touching platform and you can do this or as many times as you like if you have more platforms. Uh, there are a couple of other ways to do this but this is one way to do it. Uh, 
Okay, so now when I jump, when I touch the platform, I stop jumping. Uh, and now I can jump off the platform. Now, I don't know if you noticed, uh, but there was a pretty big glitch in there. Uh, so when I go, I'm on the platform, when I go left or right, right and no longer touching the platform, left, no longer touching the platform, I just stay at the same height. And that's because it's only going down, changing Y by minus 5, when they press the up arrow. So if I jumped down, it's fine, but it's not okay if I just step off the platform. Uh, so there are a couple of ways you can fix this, but it makes things a heck of a lot more complicated. So I'd rather just show the more complex jump and uh, then you can see that that will fix that problem. All right, let's go to the more complex jump. New program. Okay, so I need a ground again. I'm going to go and add that sprite straight away. Big fat rectangle. Okay, that's probably far enough down. You can um, adjust with the numbers if you want to. And let's go back to the code. So this is the this is more uh, similar to the physics of what happens in the actual world when we jump. There is gravity that acts on us down, and there is a velocity that acts up, and then they cancel each other up out at the top of any arc, and then you come back down again. Uh, very fast physics. So I'm going to, it's not going to be quite the numbers that you have in the world, uh, but will be numbers that you can adjust to make your jump either bigger or smaller, depending on what you're looking for. So we're going to start with when the flag is clicked. So at the beginning of the game, we're going to set some variables. So I'm going to make a variable called gravity. Uh, and I'm going to make a variable called speed y. Now you might notice that I made those variables for all sprites. That's uh, absolutely not the best way to do it. I should make it for just with this sprite, but for my year 7 class, uh, I tend to just default to using everything as a global variable. Makes things simple in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to set gravity to uh, minus 0 0.5. because uh, it's working in a downward direction, and I'm going to set my speed y to start at 0. And now I'm going to put in a forever loop, because I want this to happen all the time that the game is playing. I want an if statement. Okay, uh, now I'm going to say if I'm touching ground, it means that I can only jump when touching ground. So, if touching ground, which is, I forgot to rename, let me just read that quickly. If touching ground, then set the speed of y. We want this to happen over and over, so we just want to uh, set the speed of y to zero whenever we do the jump. And then if the if the up arrow key is pressed, we want to change that. So we need an if statement. And the key presses are found in the sensing section. So if the up arrow key is pressed, then set speed y to 10, 
and then in this forever loop we're going to continually change the y value by so continually change the y value by the speed of y and also change the speed of y by gravity so it gets uh, it, it's getting reduced Okay, so now we can see when I have to be on ground to start this working, but then when I press the up arrow, you'll see that that's a much smoother jump. It goes up, it slows down, it then speeds up as it comes back down again. It's like a nice parabola. Okay, so now let me add in the left and right move, uh, movement real quick. Change x by 10, and when the left arrow is clicked, change x by minus 10, and now you'll see that I can move left and right. Now, we're going to add the platform and work out how to do that. So, duplicate ground, call it platform, make it smaller, and then position it. Uh, you'll have to adjust your jump uh, for the height of the platforms or adjust your height of your platforms for the jump, one or the other. Uh, okay, and now we want to change this so that it's it's ground or platform. So we're going to use the or again. Bring this down, duplicate. Okay, stop the whole thing, bring the cat back up. Right, and now I've got, I can jump, and then when I hit the platform, I stop jumping, but when I run off the platform, you'll notice that I... Okay, so there's still a glitch. Uh, you'll notice that if I jump into the platform I kind of can be picked up halfway along which is a bit weird so there are a couple of things that can be done to fix that uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video I might make an extension video uh, but there is something that is a bit ugly that I can fix and that is the left and right movement it's not very smooth I have to press the keys over and over and over again so I'm going to just change that so that it continues to move right and left while ever the key is pressed. Uh, so I'm going to fix that with a repeat. When the right arrow is pressed, re repeat until the right arrow is not pressed. So not key right arrow. I'm going to duplicate that because I need it for the other one. And so also repeat until not left arrow key pressed. Now when I start it you'll see that I'm now smoothly moving around the screen with a left and right. Okay, so that's two jumps, one basic and one more complex in Scratch. Uh, there are a couple of things that I would still fix, but this will get you definitely started. Okay.